This video is going to look at how to set up and use iCloud Keychain on an iPad and an iPhone. So the first thing you need to do is ensure that you have a passcode enabled on your device. So I have a passcode, a simple passcode enabled on my iPad. And the reason I have a passcode is to protect the data and information on the iPad should it get stolen or misplaced particularly if I'm going to put passwords, even though they're encrypted, and perhaps credit cards into my iPad, I would like to have an additional level of security. iCloud Keychain will work on any iOS device that has 7.03 installed and OS 10 that is running Mavericks. Once you set up your devices and turn on Keychain on all the devices, every time you enter a password, for a login for a website that is synced to every device that has enabled Keychain. So the first device I will set it up on is in the iPad. Open Settings and then find iCloud. And in the center pane, turn on Keychain. And it'll prompt you to sign into your iCloud accounts. Once you've signed into your iCloud accounts, uh, you have to set up a passcode to authenticate it to any other device that also wants to enable Keychain. That can be the same passcode as the one you use to uh, wake up your iPad or it can be a different one. Uh, for the sake of security I will use a different one so I'm going to create a different code. And I'd rather have something that's a bit longer than four digits. So I'm going to tap advanced options and use a complex security code. If you don't create a security code, then you have a little more work to do when you want to set up a new device, as you can see there. Then tap next and now put in the code. So I'm just using six digits and you can have it longer if you, you want to, but six digits to me is a little better. And next, re-enter it. Next. And you've got to put a mobile phone number in. So when you set up a new device to use Keychain and you put in that security code that you just entered and, and Apple will also send you an SMS to this phone number to finalize the installation of a new device with Keychain. So you put in your country uh, country's already in there and then your mobile number a keychain has been set up it's been reset because i've already used it once and deleted it but a new installation won't show that and now the the setting has been completed the, ch the keychain on the ipad has been enabled to use it you're going to go into safari so still in settings in safari and Passwords and Autofill is where you have to set some options. Keychain will only work in Safari. So when you go to a website that requires you to log in, if you have that login saved in your Keychain, the iPad will log you in automatically. When you want to create a new login for a new account, you can create a, a random generated password through your Keychain and it will log you in, autofill it for you. So you've got to set up some options here. Names and passwords has to be turned on. At the moment I have no passwords in here. If you want your credit cards to be entered, then you've got to turn that on. And saved credit cards, you've got to add a credit card. Let's just go to a site and create a new password. So if I want to sign into my Dropbox account and have Safari save the password in my keychain, I'm signing in, put my password in. I'm given the option to save the password in the keychain. Never save it for this website or not, don't do it now. Save the password. So I'm going to go back out to settings and Safari. Passwords and autofill save passwords that password is now in the keychain 
to view a saved password and tap on the arrow but the passcode needs to go in first and then you can view the username and the password for that site well, let's set up the keychain on another device so this is on an iPhone so it's a settings and iCloud I turn keychain on and have to sign into my iCloud account and then you have to approve with the security code so this is the code that was set up on the iPad so approve it with that original code the next and then there's a, a text message that is now sent to that mobile number that needs to be put in to, to finalize it now if you don't have access to your phone there's a link you can verify it with Apple support so let's put the code in this is a different code each time you do this process now the keychain is now set up on the iPhone. You need to go into Safari settings, change that. And into passwords and autofill, turn on names and passwords. Turn on a passcode lock so I don't have one for the phone. And then I save passwords are also in that phone. So I'm going to use the same security code, not a different one. So now the Dropbox password that I had installed on the iPad is now synced across to my iPhone. So if I want to log into Dropbox, it's already retrieved the username and password. And I can sign in. When you sign up for a new account and you log in, it can suggest a password for you so here I'm trying to sign up to bit.ly and I'll put some information in username and a, a, an email address and now I want it to suggest a password so if I tap suggest password it won't give me a password because that website does not want passwords to be saved to override it go into settings Safari passwords and autofill and always allow go back into Safari and where it says password make sure the cursor is flashing there tap suggest password that's the password that will be provided an encrypted password it doesn't matter if you don't remember it or know it because it's going to be autofilled every time you use your uh, keychain enabled device so I'm going to use that one and that's my new password and tap go and create the account so I've created that new account in bit.ly so I'm going to open and log into that account on another device on the iPad so into Safari and go to bit.ly and sign in and that information's already been propagated from the iPhone to my iCloud account and now to my iPad so I can sign in to that account without having to remember a username or a password